I do a lot of content analysis and a lot of research papers, and so Google Scholar helps narrow down the search. I'm able to automatically go to a case study in which I'm able to see what I need to see. Using Google Earth or a combination of Google Maps and Google Earth allows us to provide a way for students or researchers to interact with spatial data that is somewhat current. I have used that before we even go out in the field, what it might look like, at least as taken from a bird's eye view. In my research in planetary science, uh, Google Earth also has um, layers that allow you to look at the moon and in Mars. The imagery is high enough resolution that you can actually see geologic formations. What the Google site does is it really allows us to produce our newspaper from anywhere, off campus, in the dorms, or even anywhere in the world. It's really a great system that's really enhanced our product as a whole. I have taught in the past a couple of fairly large enrollment classes that have required a lot of student meetings. I'm talking about setting up 40 or sometimes 50 meetings in a two or three week period. So I can give students access to my calendar, block out specific periods of time, and let them sign up themselves for half hour or 15 minute blocks of time, whatever is appropriate for them. I simply have a video camera. I put the video camera at the back of the room on a tripod. In one of the classes I teach, the students give performances. They are less experienced presenters, particularly in the context of making scientific presentations and posting the students' performances to YouTube. They, in turn, are expected to evaluate themselves. We use Google Groups to send messages out to 200, 300 people at a time. Whenever I think about something I want to share with my students, I can share it using many of the different Google apps. They can be sharing information with me. If we, for example, were to have a snow day at some point, I would be able to uh, start a hangout with my students and have the conversation going. And so it really breaks down some of the barriers that we had before with the traditional classroom where we really had limited contact hours with our students. We send undergraduate students out to local schools to help students with their science fair projects. Teachers send us the days and the times that they would like students to come into their schools. We put that information into a Google Drive document, provide access for all of the students in the program, and there are 20 of them, and they're able to sign up as their schedule allows. My favorite Google app is Google Docs. It's something that I use all the time. So one thing that I really like about that is when I'm doing group work for school work or other extracurricular activities allows me to have people directly input their own information into the various documents. So PowerPoints, word processing documents and spreadsheets allows many people to come together and kind of collaborate with the information that you're putting together. My favorite app is Google Translate because if I'm in the middle of class or in the middle of conversation in Spanish and I can't think of a word, I just plug it in in English and it comes right back to me in Spanish.